Hi, in this session I'm going to show you how to create vertical grid lines. So in our these two examples, these two column charts, we can see we have different types of vertical grid lines. In this example here, these are vertical grid lines that help separate out the column chart by six months. So every six months you see a division here. Now for the one down here, it's just separated out by month, as you can see. So I'll show you how to create these vertical grid lines. Let me go ahead and just copy this data set here, this range. I'm going to left click, hold, and drag it over here, and just release the mouse. I press Control, Shift, and the down arrow to select uh, all this data. Control C to copy. And let me go ahead into this other sheet and Control V to paste. Uh, let me go ahead and double click on the line here, the column uh, separated here, and it will auto fit the data in here. So, what I'm going to do, this is the, my range of data is already selected, so I'm going to go and insert column and I'll just insert a 2D cluster column chart. So by default, when you insert a column chart, it's going to draw out these horizontal grid lines. And that's not what we want. We want vertical grid lines. So I'm going to go into Layout and go under the Axis group under Grid Lines and remove those horizontal grid lines. And now they disappeared. Or you can just press, let me go ahead and Control Z to undo. You can actually just click on one of the grid lines and it selected all of it and just press Delete and it just removes it. Now to get the vertical grid lines, there is an option down here for the vertical grid lines. And I can have major grid lines, minor grid lines, or the major and minor grid lines. So that's how it shows up. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show the, I just want to have the major grid lines. So by default here we see that these grid lines are separated out of two, let me see, I think it's probably three months. So let me go ahead and increase the size of this chart a little bit. Oh, it's actually by month. So what if we don't want it by month? What do we want to make it adjust that? So what you want to do is right click the axis and go ahead and format axis. And what you want to do here is you want to define the major unit. So right now it's fixed at one month. So let's say that we wanted to separate it out every three months. So I just click three months here and we can see now we've got the grid lines to separate out every three months. So what are the what else can we do? Well we can actually format it. So we can just click on the grid line. Oops, we can just right click it and go under format major grid line. Maybe we don't we want it to be a little more dramatic here. So we can actually have a solid line and have different colors if we want it. This is red. Uh, we can increase the, the line style. Make it a little thicker or if we wanted a shadow we can give it a shadow or if we wanted to glow, we, we can have it glow. And that's a, that's a little, a little bit too much here. And uh, this is just another way to help uh, visualize the data in your chart. And this is kind of a little extreme here. So, so usually we don't want to have our, our non-data elements of the chart be overpowering. So I think for this, we can just stick with the regular black color and, and not have any glows. We'll get rid of, the, rid of the glow. And this is maybe just a little bit of a thick, thicker black color here, or dark color, and maybe increase the, the width size. So there's a lot of things you can do with the grid lines. So by default, when Excel charts off a column or some of, some of the other graphs, usually you would have the horizontal grid lines show up. But you can go ahead and change that when you click into the chart and go under the layout the layout tab and the access group under grid lines. So that's a way that you can have these grid lines show up. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos from me, click here to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it and leave a comment below. I'd like to hear from you and hope to see the feedback. Also, do you think others might benefit from this video? If so, click the share text below. YouTube will automatically provide a shortened link to this video and give you options to share on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, and other social networking sites. Again, thanks for watching.